Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. What you are seeing here is a result of an email being sent to the head office from the California branch. There is also one which will come in from Texas. The idea is to create a macro which will combine the two and show the result in the head office file. So those cells will be filled by the application of the macro. The first thing we need to see before we can create the macro is the developer tab here in the ribbon at the top. If you don't see the developer tab then right click on the ribbon and then go to customize the ribbon and on the right hand side you will see that there is a tick in developer. So you need to have a tick in developer and then click OK. Now as soon as you click the developer tab you'll see over here in the code group that there is a button called record macro. So as soon as you click record macro you'll be asked to give the macro a name don't worry about a shortcut key at this stage for the keyboard but we'll store the macro in this particular file and we give the macro a description so that we remember in future uh, not only for ourselves but for others who may use this file the description which will describe what the macro does for us. So let's create our macro. First of all, in the California file, I'm going to select all of the data and I'm going to copy it. Control C. Then I go to the head office file and I'm going to Control V to paste it. In column C, the head office want the last five characters shown in the ID column. So what I'm going to do here is to type a formula which will be equal right bracket the data in that cell followed by a comma and five. Close the bracket and press control enter to stay in the same cell. I can now drag that formula down or I could have double clicked on the autofill button because it was data to the left and also now I want the total for the sale so I'll just simply type equals sum and open a bracket and drag down through the sales close the bracket and press control enter and there is my total. Now I do the same thing with the Texas file. So I'll go to Texas and I will drag through the data and control C go to the head office file and control V which will do the same thing as California and then equal right click in the cell comma 5 close the bracket press control enter which stays in the same cell and this time I'll simply double click which automatically fills so that's another way to uh, fill a formula now the total we want here as equal sum, open your bracket, drag down through the amounts, close the bracket and control enter. Now we can go to the uh, head office 
file and there I see that the data has been transferred from each of those email files from California and Texas. We want a grand total here so what I'm going to do is to make sure that my macro adds the cells for me so I'll type an equal and then sum open a bracket and I will add that one plus that one close the bracket and control enter and there is my grand total for the sales for week 24 that completes the recording of our macro now we will test it so I'm going to stop recording we don't need to record any further and I'm going to delete all of the information in the head office file delete so now what we can do is to run the macro and make sure that it's working correctly and we can do that by clicking on the macros button at this stage and run the shirt sales and let's see what happens and there we are perfect everything is as we uh, copied and pasted and you'll notice that that has saved an immense amount of time one click and we had all of the results now what I'm going to do is to make life e even easier and that is by inserting a button which when clicked will run the macro how do I do that I go to the home tab and I click insert and I want to insert a shape and the shape will be we'll say a rectangle when I click on rectangle I can draw one let's say here and I'll insert the word shirt sales and what I want to do is to right click and assign the macro called shirt sales to that button click OK click away and we're ready to run it so what I'll do now is to delete all the information this is going to test the button and shirt sales let's see when after I delete let's see what happens shirt sales there we go so that's how you make a macro thank you so much for watching um, I hope you will subscribe unless you've already done so and we'll see you next time bye for now Oh, by the way, don't forget likes and comments.